Good morning again. Okay, I'm very close to my camera to show you another part of the book. I was expecting yesterday some answers from you to choose a second part to read, but since nobody answered me, I think I will choose by myself. So here was the page telling us where we can pick up our information in the book. So today, I think I want to know about the chapter five. I would like to know where the wolves are in the world. The title of the chapter five is Wolves in the World. So I will go directly to the page 38. Can skip some pages because 38 is far. Ah, this was the pack 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, and I should arrive. Yes, wolves in the world. Here is the beginning of the chapter. I hope you can see. As yesterday, this book is organized in a specific way. So there is a picture here with some text which is linked to the picture. And here another title with a map and some explanation. I will go through this. Scientists and others try to persuade people that these wild dogs are not the big bad wolves of fairy tale. That's true that the wolves have always have in many cases been describing as very dangerous animals, but we'll discover that they are not as dangerous as we thought. So what about the wolves in the world? Where wolves live? Just 200 years ago, many kinds of grey wolves roamed the world from the Arctic to the Mediterranean. Arctic is somewhere where it's very cold and Mediterranean area is here. Here is France and here is Africa and I'm presently here in Nigeria. In America, their territory extended from the far north down to Mexico. From the north to Mexico, there were wolves before. But for decades, wolves were hunted and killed. And worldwide, their number have rapidly diminished and some species have become extinct. It means that because human hunted them, many of them disappeared before there were a lot of wolves and they disappear in some areas because we thought they were dangerous, so we hunted them. There are now no gray wolves in the thousand USA. Look at this. Before there were gray wolves here and now there is no wolf. We can see the place where wolves are. It's in green. So here are wolves and now there is no more wolf here. Look at France. Is there a wolf in France nowadays? Before there were a lot of wolves. They disappear. There are now no grey wolves in the southern USA, although there are still large numbers, as many as 60,000 in Alaska and Canada. 
Here is Alaska and Canada. We can still find many wolves there. In the UK, wolves has become instinct. It means they disappear. But elsewhere in Europe, where they are now in protected species, there are also to be up to 18,000 grey wolves. And thousands of wolves still live in the wild of the northern Russia. Here is the Russia. And it's a very big country with a lot of very wild area with no human so the wolves can live here peacefully so we can see finally that as we spoke in science what human did has a big impact on the wolves let me turn this is another chapter not another chapter, but another part in the chapter. It speaks about the future of wolves. Wolves have lost much of their habitat in the human as the human population has grown. Yes, there are a lot more humans than before. We took their forest to establish our city, so they don't have any space to live. So. They lost their habitat. But laws now protect them and their homes. Fortunately, wolves are very adaptable. They can live in many habitats, prairies, forests, woods and tundra. As long as they have enough room to roam and prey to hunt. Une proie à chasser, a prey to hunt. But humans are still the wolf's worst enemy. And organizations such as the World Wide Fund work hard to change the way we think of them. To increase their number and conserve their natural territory. Yes, now we realize that if we don't allow them to live, they will completely disappear. Some animals have already disappeared because of human. So now the scientists and the population try to consider the fact that it is important to save them. Here it's different. It's a table where we have some information. It speaks about some scientific words. The real scientific name of the wolf is Canis lupus. He is from the mammals family. This is what he eats. He is a carnivore. This tells us about his size. It can be up to one meter tall at the shoulder. Here it's about his weight. Males can be up to 80 kilos almost as heavy as I am. And females are a little bit less heavy, only 50 kilos. Their lifespan means how long they will live, the life expectancy. When they are in the forest, they can live up to 10 years. This tells us about the place they are living. We saw that forests, woods, tundra and plains. And this tells us about the speed he can reach when he's running. He can run about 30 miles per hour, which is very fast, a lot faster than we can do. Let me show you that last thing before to finish that short video. Did you know? Mm -hmm. Wolves are part of a scientist family called Canidae. This family is made up of 34 species, which includes domestic dogs, wild dogs, wolves, coyotes, and foxes. If I look at the dog, a fox, a wolf, I can see 
they look alike. They, are in, they have many common things. So they belong to the same large family, which is called Canidae. That's it for today. I hope you learn new things about wolf, about the place where they are living or were living. Maybe you understood that we humans should care about wolves and also every animals. If you want to know something more, once more time, as I told you yesterday, you can ask me to discover any part of that book. If you send me a text message asking me, Ludo, please, can you give me a picture of the pages uh, uh, 38 to 34 because I want to know about uh, the wolves in the world more? Or if you tell me I want to know about the body of the wolf, I will just send you the picture. I hope you liked that part of the book. I see you soon. Bye bye.